Hey everyone, this is just a quick check-in. I just want to make sure you're understanding the flow of the course. It looks like most of you are on track. There are a couple of people that I see that have not submitted anything yet at all. So just a reminder that you do need to submit something this first uh, few days if you want to remain in the course. Otherwise, uh, you'll be automatically dropped. So make sure you're getting in there and getting to work notify me if you're having any issues if you're blocked or whatever um, you can view this video here for help on how to navigate the course so at this point you really should be into module one now a lot of this stuff is counting toward the co-requisite course the math 95 um, so it's not going to show as Math 107 scores yet until you get into some of that. Uh, the extra credit, actually, um, I add the, I'll add that manually on. I took that out so that it doesn't give you an inflated view of your grade so far. So if you would like to check your grades, I'm just going to show you here. You can go to Grades. And you'll see if you scroll all the way down, this, incidentally, this is a good way to check to see what you've done so far, any comments um, I may have put in there will be in your grade book as well. So it's good to check that frequently. And so you go all the way down to the bottom and there is a summary here. Um, and this is the test student who hasn't done any work, so it's a little bit, it'll have like no um, numbers there. But if you look here at Math 95 course average, yours should have a percentage there. So hopefully um, you're doing well with that and that's pretty high. It doesn't factor into your 107 grade. Um, those are separate, separated out. So you'll have like the homework and the quizzes and all those things once we start getting into the math 107 it'll show in your total but for now your your total is just showing at zero percent uh, but you can know how you're doing by looking at this math 95 course average I just don't want you to have a false sense of what your total is in the course overall so let me know if you have any questions about that and again, you can go back up and look at what you're missing and access things. Now, um, it's not a good idea just to click on random stuff. You always want to go back to modules and work through that the first time through. But then if you've missed something, you can go back in like this. Say you didn't do it since that's a homework. You can access it up here to get into the assignment. You could write me a comment from your gradebook if you needed to. But if you want to actually get into the assignment, you can get into it through there. And since it is past due, you would need to redeem a late pass. But I think I already modeled that in one of the videos, so I had extended the date. Um, and you can go back in and just resume and get back to work on it. So I hope that helps and um, have a great day. Remember, work through modules or your homepage, not the to-do list. Um, the first time through, you always want to go back to the beginning and make sure you're not missing anything.